All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Oblivion modded playthrough. It is I, Zylestar, and today we are going to be continuing onward with where we left off. So you might notice that we are not exactly where we left off last time. We left off at the Imperial City Market District, because I think I said I was going to sell stuff. Well, we're going to do that now, but I decided to come here anyway, specifically because of the fact that I wanted to store stuff at the house, so I thought while I was editing my mod and all that stuff we would uh do all that uh i also forgot to take the money out of the bank but don't worry i still have the saves specifically for before that ended up happening so we still have that money just that i'm just gonna have to spawn it in which is fine it's not gonna break any rules or anything like that because we need to spawn it in because we rightfully earned it it's just that I forgot to sort of take the money out. So, yeah. My fault. But that's fine. So I fixed my mod. I fixed it completely. So now... If somebody were to actually go and end up looking inside of the mod files... It's, uh... Oh, I shouldn't take all, because I don't know how they're going to react about that steel war axe. I didn't steal it, but... How do they know that, right? So I'm going to sell all of this, because I don't really think I need it. I'm just going to try and repair those uh, cutlasses. Oops. That's not what I meant to do, anyway. Ah, Of course. Welcome to Jensen's Good as New Merchandise. Hello. Can I? Certainly. No, that's not what I meant to do. I offer the finest oh, goods and the lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Is that stronger than what I currently have? Four. Oh, they're about equal. Uh, since you like me a lot, I'm going to bump it up to 65. This should work. Maybe. Yeah, it works. Okay. Thank you. What? Looking to lighten your load, but fill up your coin purse? Oh, it's not E, it's enter. Okay. I gotta remember that. This is not Skyrim. That's That's so used to Skyrim selling mechanics. Okay, I'm keeping this until I find someone where they'll take it for a higher price than 600 But I'm gonna sell as many things as I can. Because we need as much gold as we can now. You got I still have to figure out why that uh, one mod keeps uh, bumping up my health, or my not my health, my experience all the way down That's to like a, fair deal. a large number for some odd reason. A good price for a good customer. Yeah, for a second there I thought like I cheated it for steel armor because I was like, where did That's the steel good... armor come from? Like it's not a part of the set that I have saved up for when I need it. But I just remembered that Agamir's bodyguard had it. A fine. Okay, so what we're doing this session after I'm done selling That's this stuff? A good price for a good customer. Okay, I got everything. Okay, forty nine. Yo, we might be able to get that after this. Okay. All right, so a few it's things a that I wanted to mention before we start off with anything. I'm keeping these in here. I'm keeping that in here. So I did grab everything from the chests. So everything is what it should be. Nothing is fully enchanted and everything. So I'm going to go show off the island a little bit. Then I'm going to tell you guys what we're uh, going to be doing. And I did not re-add the armor. That's fine. I have the code here. I just need to know what the uh, command is. Or what the code ID is. Zero F, okay. Player. Dot add spell. Have to do this again. I apologize. I'm going to have it so that you can just click something and just do it. Where's the code? Okay, so let's go zero zero one. 
Is it? No, I don't think it's that other one. I think it's. I think that's to get the item. I think it's eight three six seven. No, it is the other one then. Oh no, wait, I didn't put F here. That's why. It's probably why I register it. Okay, so eight three six seven. Is it that? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So now the Dark King's soul is not linked with ours. Okay, so there was something that I wanted to mention as well. So as you can see, the place is now back to the way it's supposed to be. So for a few things have actually changed. Uh, for one, this statue is actually completely different than what it was before. Uh, I originally used a original statue of Azura, I think, from the base game, and I changed it to a different version. Not from the base game, but an actual modded version that actually changes up the texture a lot. So we got this version now. And we also have... Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. So we have the Lucky Old Lady statue over here. This one is actually of my design rather than the one that the base game actually has. So the one that the base game has is that it changes when you ha activate the Dark Brotherhood quest line, which is bad for me because if I do the Dark Brotherhood, I lose my one way of getting Magicka, or at least a free way of getting Magicka pretty much without actually you know, utilizing, like, you know, cheats and all that, like, without using the Skull of Therian right here, or without using, uh, like, you know, the, well, no, where did I have that potion barrel? Right here. So without using, uh, what is it, the Potion of Life that's right here, or anything like that, like, without using those kinds of potions, uh, that's pretty much what is going to be the big problem. So I activated this. I don't think I acted, like, I don't think I made it quite exactly as how it casts onto the player but it, it works um there you go see so i absorbed that one so you know what it it works it does what it's sort of supposed to so you know what who cares so another thing that i changed is i'm not allowed to take anything from it but these are the potion ingredients that i think are the ones that i use specifically for my potion so i think you can see why i think that or this is the one i want to use because it actually makes a lot of sense wait how can i activate that uh give me a second bug uh beacon asco i think that's immediately gonna boot me into oblivion yeah okay why is this one Oh, because of shield yeah so the beef so here's how it's gonna work so the aloe vera leaves are going to activate a restore fatigue and restore health function and then what's gonna happen is that with that it's going to create a restore fatigue for the beef to kick in into the same sort of dynamic and then with that we can go with the bog beacon since it'll be activated through the shield and then ham can be an added extra bonus to restore health and fatigue there's also another one, but I don't know if I can activate it just, just yet. There's one where you can actually end up activating it through the, um... Uh, you can do it through Painted Trolls. I think that restores health and fa Not health and fatigue. I think it's health and magicka. Which is, uh, pretty good. In my opinion. So what that potion is going to be making is a restore... Health, Magicka, Fatigue, and Shield. So that's going to help us out a ton. We actually go and do things. So that's good. Uh, so in the basement, nothing has changed too much. Except for this is now blue instead of red because I found that pretty cool. And now we're having light... Okay, so that's something else I need to figure out too. Which is fine. So these shields are having lighting errors... Which is fine. I know how to fix that. I fixed it before. And I just want to make sure that there's any lighting errors in here. Which there shouldn't be. Yeah, there shouldn't be any in here. Which is good. Okay. So nothing is bad over here. Okay. Uh, so we do still have the Archmage's chest. I did get rid of the Fighter's Guild chest temporarily. Because this was the normal Fighter's Guild Master chest. Uh, but unfortunately, for some reason, it doesn't work the way that I think it does. 
I will try it again. I will place a copy of it somewhere on this shelf. Just so I can see if it actually does anything. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this here. I'm going to make a custom chest over here with a script that says as long as you're the guild master uh, and the player has achieved that rank, so with that quest completed and you are that rank, uh, you will get, let's say, 500 gold or leveled gold, depending on what level the character currently is, and that's how much gold you'll get. Oh, whoops, that's actually something else. That is something that I shouldn't have added to me. Where is it? Give me a second, I'll go get rid of that too. That is not something I'm supposed to have because I didn't actually go through all the way shrines. But this is pretty much what I would end up... Well, I would use it if it actually did work. To my advantage. Uh, what is it? Pilgrim's Grace. There we go. So this is actually supposed to skip everything. But as unfortunate as that is, it doesn't actually do it. Wait, what? Uh-huh, that's not what I want, though. Yeah, that's not really what I'm looking for. So it's not really giving me the right thing unless it's supposed to supposedly somewhere here. No, that's not actually giving me anything here. It's saying that it gave me a different thing. Oh wait, there you go. Okay, I'm just going to search for greater powers, and since obviously it's not giving it to me. Okay, so pretty much what this session is supposed to be is that we're going to start off with the, uh... Well, I go and pick out where the thing is. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, Fighter's Guild. Can I find Pilgrim Trace here? Ah, here we go. Okay, so it's player dot remove spell uh, fourteen because we don't need to add the extra zeros because it doesn't really care for that. Uh, D twenty three because we're not supposed to have this one. And there you go. There you go. Okay, so I gotta keep track of that. Actually, it's in the video, so I'll definitely know it by editing. Alright, so let's go start off with the Anvil uh, Fighter's Guild, because that one I definitely know. So I'm always going to start off with the session uh, not knowing how many armor uses I have. Uh, definitely the scroll uses as well, so scrolls I'll always think that I don't have any. Now one thing I do want to mention is that I do remember using the armor last session. I remember using it specifically just for a spell. I'm counting that as a spell, as a scroll usage, not as a armor usage. The reason why is because we only used it specifically for one thing. Because I couldn't go into here. Couldn't go into here. Couldn't go into this house. Couldn't go to here and grab the same exact scroll over here. I couldn't grab it. Because when you have a mesh problem which is what happened yeah because texture would turn pink that's right so if it's a so since we had a texture problem uh i couldn't or a mesh problem i couldn't access this storage no matter what i did i couldn't access it so if i tried to click anywhere like around it i couldn't access that storage so that's why i didn't do that yeah so the thing that had the lightning error was this deer head uh, can I do it? Or did I add it into here? Give me a second. I want to see. Did I add it in here? 
Oh, it gave me experience. No. That's fine. It only gives it to you once, so it's not like it's that bad. Mage killer. No, I'm trying to see if this might have something that might be interesting. I just don't know. Yeah, I didn't add mine in here. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't add mine in there. It's fine. Oh no, I thought of adding it. That's right. I thought of adding it, but I never got it. Never got around to it. Uh, yeah, so I couldn't do that, so we use the armor because it's already attached to the armor. So it just made it easier just to just summon the armor and then just use it from the armor. Amazon, head of the Anvil Fighters Guild chapter and advanced blunt weapons trainer. Cool. Uh, join the Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. I shouldn't have a bounty. Are you interested in joining? Uh, yes. Send me up. Fine. You are now an associate.